fingers off. Oh. How's it going everybody? We decided to make a video comparing these two models here. This is the 2021 Bronco Wild Track and the 2021 Bronco Badlands Edition with Sasquatch. And we're kind of in a predicament with which model that we wanted to go with. So we figured we would make this video in hopes to help everybody else kind of clear up the key differences. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we hope you enjoy the video. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video to find out why we passed over buying this exact wild track Bronco. Okay, so I'm on the front end here, and uh, this is the stay bar. This is what the difference is between the Badlands, the biggest difference I'll say mechanically, between the Badlands and the uh, wild track. So, uh, right now you can take the bolt out of both sides and then you have your stay bar disconnected um, but on the Badlands edition it's electronic you push a button so if you want the wild tracks for the leather package or something similar to that and you can do it on both sides um, but I'm willing to bet here in the very near future we're gonna see aftermarket uh, with just like a drop pin or a pull out pin here so you can un, un, dishook, uh, unconnect it quickly. Disconnect it quickly. <laughs> Unconnected. <laughs> There's aluminum skid plate. In your goat mode. Turn this knob here and you get different modes. Okay, so we'll start. So the difference you get on this uh, uh, wild tracks I believe you get the sport mode over the Badlands Badlands does not have that then you switch over you've got sport slippery mud and ruts sand Baja and then back to normal at the very beginning normals the first eco sport those are your three driving modes these are your off-road modes slippery mud ruts sand and Baja what you do notice that you're missing that you get on a uh, Bronco Badlands is rock mode so but I think really what you're getting with rock mode is you'll get this stay bar connect here and then it locks your lockers but all don't get caught on the goat modes because everything that the goat mode does you can do manually um, don't don't think oh I, I don't want to buy uh, uh, wild tracks because it doesn't have rock crawl mode all rock crawl mode does it locks your lockers your differential lockers for you and the difference it does is it does have the stay bar disconnect but you can manually go under and disconnect your stay bar and we'll make a video about that also so in the wild tracks you get this um, dual tone interior you cannot get this in a badlands so in this one it's got the sand color with black and uh, you get that on your seats and everything like that And um, they're leather. What do you guys think? I think I'm hungry. <laughs> you are that There is several features that come standard on the wild tracks, but most of these features are an option in the Badlands. You can get a Badlands Bronco just up to, if not above, the high end Lux Wild Tracks edition. You get a gloss black beauty ring on the wheel, beadlock ring, which I'm not crazy about, so we'll probably get the Ford Performance ones that are aluminum. Okay, so now we're gonna test, test out uh, Trail Turn Assist. So on trail turn assist, the inside turning wheel should lock up on the rear. This would cause it to drag that rear wheel and make you make a tighter turn. However, when we were trying this out, 
we couldn't get it to completely lock up. You could hear the brakes tapping on the rotor, but it's almost like the anti-lock brakes would not let it lock completely up. Now, maybe we weren't turning sharp enough because we have seen in other videos, for instance, over on Lightbright when they used it, where it, they made a sharp turn with it and it locked up all the way around it. However, it sounded like things were binding up and it just didn't sound like a healthy way that it should. And uh, I, I'm not too sure on this feature yet. I think it's a great idea, but we'll see the wear and tear that it causes on vehicles over time. Okay, now let's take a look at the interior. You've got your lock and unlock. If you notice, when you pull the door handle, the windows drop down, open like convertible. Into the cockpit. You've got your Ford key here. Unlock, lock, double tap for remote start. Get this cool little display when you get in and out of the vehicle. Push to start. Okay. Josh, how tall are you? Not tall at all. <laughs> five six, I think. Five six. Well, yeah. let's see the leg room. Oh, I got plenty. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> five six. Gone. How tall are you? Five one. Okay. How's your leg room? <laughs> yeah, he's catching you. Let me check this. Here, you got dual climb zone. Let's turn the fan all up. Let's see what we got here. Max, max AC. See how good the blower is. Pretty good. Is there stuff back here? No. You got controls, but there's no vent ventilation there. So on this wild tracks with Sasquatch package, you've got your aluminum skid plate. On the very front. Looks like there's a skid plate down there on the gas tank. Aluminum lower control arms. leather yeah. and it's got a uh, uh, I don't know if you're the first kid to drive it yeah. it probably will be next time on off-road recon there's things about it that feel not finished not finished like there's gonna be issues uh, uh, not premium Okay, so after being in the brand new Bronco today, we're kind of having some second thoughts. That, that might be it on that one. <laughs>